From Billie Holiday's Gardenia to Harlem Zoot Suits and Nike Air Jordans to Michelle Obama's sleeveless movement, black style has influenced popular culture for decades. Here to take us on a style journey in honor of Black History Month is fashion editor Constance White. Welcome to Arise Hello, stylish hosts. Yes. Constance, you never disappoint and you oh, look incredible. Thank you, Lola. Thank you. So good to see you. You too. So let's talk black style. In Love honor of you. Black History Month, yes. you and Macy's are actually touring the country having conversations about black style. Tell us more. Okay, we have started off, we've been to Houston, LA, San Francisco, and Philadelphia You're just kidding. yesterday. And we'll be going on. There was an event scheduled for tonight at Macy's, but due to the snowstorm, that's been postponed. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for when that's coming back. Oh, you know we'll be there. Yes. You have to be there. And then your other viewers have to be in. We're heading to Miami, Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Hotlanta. Ooh. So I am thrilled that, that Macy's is doing this. I'm really happy to be doing this because a lot of times we don't, hear enough about the impact and the contributions mm -hmm. of black people That's to so the true. fashion mm -hmm. business and fashion is a cultural moment too. I want to be your assistant and go to Miami with you because, yes, as you said, here in New York, it's an abysmal snowstorm, but Miami in style sounds very fun. Right? right. Fun. Well, we're See you later, okay. Shannon. I know. She's leaving me for that. I'm leaving okay. you, Shannon. <laughs> so tell us about some of the things we'll see on the tour. On the tour, I'll be in conversation with Beverly Johnson. Oh. I mean, oh, wow. talk about history, contributions. Oh mm. Beverly Johnson, who is, I might add, as gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous as ever. She is so interesting. She's such a warm person. But the stories that she can tell about black style, I mean, she was the first black woman, the first African-American woman to be on the cover of Vogue. Mm -hmm. How groundbreaking was that moment in fashion? It was very important because mm -hmm. up to that point, we had never seen a black face, believe it or not, mm -hmm. on the cover of American Vogue. And Vogue was then even more powerful than mm -hmm. it is today. And today it's pretty um, formidable. So it was a time, it was 1974, and it was a time when we as black people were really looking for our moment, mm -hmm. our moment to shine, yeah. our moment for equal opportunity. Mm -hmm. And to see that happen was very powerful and influential mm -hmm. and inspirational for African Americans and for black people around the world. And it was a huge validation for mm -hmm. black models as well. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. She broke down doors for black models. Um, she likes to talk about how she stands on the shoulders of Naomi Sims. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, you know, fast forward to Naomi Campbell, she really paved the way for women like Naomi, like Tyra Banks, for themselves to have major covers. I mean, Vogue is the major fashion magazine. Well, and true. for her to be on the cover was very influential and very significant. Wow. But that was groundbreaking, and it opened up doors, like you said, for many other women. But how do you feel that even today, we still don't see that many African-American models being used in print on the covers? Yes, well, it seems, Shannon, that it's almost like we have to go do it again. Mm. Like, does this have to happen again? I mean, we have made progress, mm -hmm. right? We certainly have made progress. We've certainly moved forward. But clearly, when we look at the situation, the lack of black models on the runways, Boy. lack of black models on covers of major magazines, we still have a lot of work to do. We mm. sure do. And, and, and black designers as well. There's black still design. a dearth of black designers. Absolutely. We saw B. B Michael, Tracy Reese also showed earlier this week, and yes. we have people like Diola Sego and Akato Momolu who are also showing, but again, not as many as you'd expect. Yes. What, do you think, and, um, what do you think is the barrier ent of entry for some black designers, and how can they get past that obstacle? The biggest issue or issues are two, mm -hmm. Lola. One is lack of financing. Okay. So you cannot build a major business, you cannot build a national brand if you don't have financing. And black designers, just like black people in other walks of life, are discriminated against when it comes to getting enough financing to build their businesses. The second issue, I believe, is that there's a lack of connections, information. So if you have you know, an uncle who has a friend, who has a friend of a friend, who can help you make your way in the fashion industry. That, I mean, information is gold. That's, That's tremendously important. And a lot of times I find that our black designers have the ambition, the talent, 
and the gumption to get started mm. and to move forward, but it's very, extremely difficult for them then to grow their business into a national brand. I think those are the two main reasons. Very good wow. point, Constance. Another point, you don't have to have money to have style. Mm. And oh, one of the no. things that you've seen primarily in the African American community over the years is that we improvise. Absolutely. The mother invention, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's improvisation. Now I'm mangling that a bit, right. but it's true. Mm -hmm. you know, I believe that a Necessity lot of Necessity times... is the mother of invention. Yes. And sometimes we haven't had the money, but we've always wanted to be stylish. Yes. Mm. It's so important. One of the things that I believe makes this collaboration with Macy's so important is that it shows just how central style is to the African-American experience, to African-American culture, to black people's culture around the world. Style for us is truly about self-expression. Mm -hmm. It's truly about a badge of success. It means, it means so much to us. Mm -hmm. And we have, I mean, black people have been so impactful on major style trends over the years, over history and today. Well, speaking of style, tell us a little bit about your book, The Queens and Kings of Style. Yes, mm. and one of the things that I wanted to do, or one of the ways that I wanted to tell our story and tell the story of the impact of black people on style is through books. And I had done a book in 1998 called Style Noir, and I've used some of that text, the history, in Queens and Kings of Style, and, but what is totally new and absolutely enthralling in Queens and Kings of Style are the photographs. Mm. I've assembled with my team an incredible treasure chest of photographs. Shannon Lola and your viewers out there, you will just adore this. It's really about how you feel when you open the book. I mean, mm. some of the photographers, even the gathering of photographers in this mm -hmm. book is quite historic and incredible. Why was it important for you to tackle this project? I really feel like we need to tell this story. Mm -hmm. Fashion has become so important. It's become such a part of pop culture. It's you true. were just talking earlier about you know, who was wearing what on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. The shows are a huge cultural and business moment in New York City. Our black people, African Americans, have a very important role in that that we don't often hear about. Mm. So where can we go to find out more about your book and your Macy's tour? The Macy's tour, you can go to the Macy's website, okay. macy's.com celebrate. And the book is in a limited edition advanced copy. Ooh. So come and get it if you do a purchase at Macy's, okay. a small purchase, <laughs> and you get the book, you get the limited edition of the book. And later on, the book will have a commercial release. And, and I'll be back to talk about that. Yay! Okay, you will be back. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. It's so good to pleasure. see you, Constance. And you thanks too. for braving the snow. We really appreciate oh, it. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks <laughs> for having me, Lola. And, and you're watching Arise <laughs> Entertainment 360.